Hey guys, so welcome to Affiliate Drive Time. Uh, I guess you can see I'm not in my car this week, but um, I've just arrived back from Bali and one of the key things that I noticed when I was out there is that sometimes we struggle to do things that really we shouldn't be doing. So I went uh, scuba diving and snorkeling and it was a really amazing experience. And one of the things that I noticed while I was under the water was that a lot of the people that were swimming around me were thrashing about on top of the coral reefs and actually scaring the fish away. Whereas what myself and my guide were doing is staying slowly and steadily on the top and letting the current actually move us past. As a result, I ended up seeing quite a lot of fish from you know Nemo and Dory to loads and loads of other um, shapes and sizes. And what ended up happening is that the fish were following us along the current. Um, and it really was an amazing experience and it made me stop and think a little bit about how affiliate managers can sometimes be um, you know quite aggressively focusing on new business and new affiliates and not actually waiting to see um, how affiliates are following them based on some of the marketing activities that they're doing for their program so one of the things that I wanted to really talk about this week was you know making sure that the marketing that you're doing of your program speaks loud enough that affiliates will come and follow you so in the last couple of weeks i've spoken a little bit about building yourself as a brand ambassador for your affiliate program but also you need to be looking at the marketing tactics that you're using that will ultimately make affiliates join you and follow you so i want you to have a little think about all the things that you can do that will help your affiliate program stand out now I've listed a few of the little um, key points and marketing tactics that we use for some of our clients um, below in this blog, but really just think about being at one with your surroundings and not trying to be too competitive because in trying to be competitive, you can actually push and propel people away. So think about the types of affiliates that you want to engage with. Maybe make some really clear objectives of how you can actually meet these affiliates and get them on board, whether that's reaching out to them one-on-one -on -one or actually hosting a networking event or a training event that can really help these guys to get better at what they do and get affiliated to your brand. I hope that you find that this little snippet is um, enjoyable and that you've learned a little bit from it. And I look forward to seeing you again at, um, in the next week on Drive Time. Thanks very much for joining me and have a read of the blog below because it really will help you to market your program a little bit better.